All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work on the blue marble. I personally like to suggest you to work on the blue marble than yellow marble because this is sort of between yellow and green, and that means you will have to use two different sets of complementary color set for intensity, which could be pretty confusing. So I would like to suggest you to pull out all the analysis colors, all the colors that you see on here that is associated with blue. So I'm going to pull out my baby blue blue violet purple that's going to really help with intensifying some of them i also see white in a lot of area but if you sort of take a look at these two colors they wouldn't mix these two to make that color because there's a little bit of warmth to it so i'm going to pull out a little bit of yellow okay and then dark brown i'm also going to use a little bit of red and orange which is complementary colors to this one but red is going to really intensify that so i'm going to pull out these for my complementary colors so i'm going to use this later so i'm going to set it aside for now i'm going to go ahead and use white to reserve a lot of these whites before i lose it so i'm going to go ahead and work on that at this time Alright, now that I am done with basic whites, I'm going to go ahead and move on to most basic. There's a little bit of warmth all over, so I'm going to use canary yellow and just be generous with a lot of yellow. Again, yellow is one of those colors that's very forgiving. And I, I really see a lot of yellow on top of the white, so I'm just going to just barely scratch the surface. All right, now that I am done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the blue. I think before I use a blue violet, I'm going to really use true violet, a uh, true blue since it really matches a lot. I'm going to try my best to color in all the areas that I see, but it's okay for it to go over some of the darker areas because we are going to go back over with the blue anyway. Be mindful of the transitional points between the white and true blue. We're going to do our best to blur out some of these spaces because it is not a sharp transition. It's very, very blurred out due to the depth of field between the object and the camera. So we're going to really, truly try to blur out the edges by going over them several times.
now that I have blacked out most of them, I'm going to go back over with white and find a good transitional point between those two and strengthen the whites that I have lost previously. You can see a pretty big difference between before and after now because I was able to successfully blend with the blue underneath. So if you do one more layer, I know it's really a lot of work, but if you were to do one more layer of blue on top, you're going to have much more accurate details and gradation between each details. And I would highly suggest you to spend some time because this is very monochromatic um, marble color pencil and there isn't really much of a color other than blue and white in a lot of areas. So I would highly recommend you guys to do one more, just one more layer of blue and white to really intense, uh, work on the intensity of the color. So I'm going to do one more I know it's very repetitive, but that is what color pencil is. It's a very repetitive process. So I'm going to do one more layer at this time. Right now I'm the, I am done. Um, I need to work on the shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and use, actually I need to make this now that I look at it from far away. I see that I have to enhance these with a hard pressure. Very good. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and use blue violet and violet and uh, brown to work on the intensity here on the left hand side. I'm going to hold off on um, red and orange for a second because I'm going to try to achieve as much intensity with these and then use the orange and red. Always work from light to dark. So I'm going to go ahead and use violet blue.
on as much as I can with this blue. I so was able to work on a little bit more blue colors and I'm going to go back with my previous color to blend in really well. Please try not to press it down too much because we don't want to have too much wax to the point where we cannot draw anymore. We always want to just scratch the surface right, and then blend it knowing how much layers we had to put in on the previous layer on the next layer okay so i'm going to go ahead and now use i don't think i really need a violet so i'm going to go ahead and move on to dark brown I noticed that I have a little thin white line right here on the red and I am missing that. So I'm going to take this time to enhance that before I lose it any further. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and use orange. Now, as you work on the orange, because there are a lot of layers underneath uh, and this is not really a true orange, you're not going to get the brown that you probably want it so I'm going to intensify with red a little bit more I am sort of cheating because it's not a complete pure complementary colors I get it but um, the orange is a mixture of yellow and red and so I'm just going to put a little bit more red to intensify against that blue Now I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and use blue here, dark violet blue, to blend all those colors together. You don't ever just want to leave your complementary colors on top without blending with it. I mean, I think you guys are sort of understanding that step not by now. There's always layering and blending with the previous color whenever you do color pencil. There we go. Now that I am done with that, I'm going to go ahead and go back with True Blue to mix and add in some of the information that I got. Very good. And I'm somewhat happy with that. So um, I'm going to, you are more than welcome to go back with some of the colors uh, like white that we keep on, keep on losing as we work on it. But make sure you also clean up some of these edges. So that you can have a good clean look for your artwork all right now apply what you have learned here to complete this one i will see if i can post a uh um, fast forwarded video of this one as well